Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm back with another bomb recipe. If you love conch, this recipe is going to have you loving it even more. This stew conch is the bomb.com. Everything that I'm using and the amount or at least close to the amount that I'm using will be listed below for you in the description box. We're starting off with one and a half pound of conch. This conch is not skin, so I'm going to show you if you have conch like this and it's not all white meat, I'm going to show you what you have to remove, okay? So you're going to remove this little bottom piece right here. Let's call this the tail of the conch and also the feet of the conch. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So we're cutting off this little piece here. It should be easy to cut off. Get rid of that. Now this area here, you don't cut off. That's good meat, okay? You leave that on. But the feet right here, okay? These little feet, you wanna just cut them right off because you don't need them. You know what, maybe some people eat them, but honey, mm -mm, that can go right in the trash. Now we're going to cut up our conch into smaller pieces, but not too small. So we're, I'm going to make this into two halves. And then the part of the conch that has the skin on it, I'm going to slice it in half. And what that does is it makes it easier when we're going to tenderize our meat so that it's nice and tender and not too hard, especially during the cooking process. So if you slice it in half, like I'm doing here, it just makes it so much more softer when you're cooking it. I'm placing my cut conch in a Ziploc bag because I am going to tenderize my conch after I cut it into the desired amount of pieces that I want. So I'm just doing the same thing here, guys, cutting off the tail. Then I'm gonna cut off the feet. Just wanted to do it two times so you guys can see exactly what pieces I'm cutting off the conch. This stew conch is simply the bomb. You will love it. I guarantee you. You know how they say uh, you get your money back? Listen, subscribe to this channel. Make this conch. And if it doesn't come out great, if it doesn't come out amazing, if it is not the best stew conch you have ever had in your life, come back to this channel and unsubscribe, okay? But if it is, honey, invite all your friends and family to come and subscribe to our channel. So when all of that is done, I'm going to put all of that conch in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to make sure my Ziploc bag is nicely sealed. And I'm going to use this meat tenderizer, which is also called a meat pounder or a, um, there's another name for it, but I can't remember. Mallet, I think it's called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pound softly onto my conch and this is going to tenderize my conch and make it nice and soft so when you cook it down it won't be a hard chewy piece of meat that you're trying to eat when i'm done with one side i'm going to flip it over and I'm going to keep lightly pounding my conch until it is all soft and tender. When it's all done, guys, this is what it should look like. It should look nice and soft like this. And when you pull it apart, it should be easy to pull apart. I'm going to show you guys right now 
if I try to pull this apart, it shouldn't be hard even as it's raw and I haven't cooked it yet. It should not be hard to pull apart. So here's the test now. You see that? That means it's ready. That's nice and tender. That's how tender it should be. Now I'm going to transfer all of my conch into a bowl. And at this point, I had hot water on the stove coming to a boil. So I'm going to bring that boil water right over my conch. And I'm only going to leave it in that water for about two minutes, okay? All I'm doing is shooting my conch really quick. I didn't add anything to it. You leave it for about two minutes and you drain the water out. After I drain my water out, I'm adding in a key ingredient. And when you're making any kind of meat that takes long to cook, especially to get soft. It's good to add flour and baking soda or baking powder, and that helps your meat to cook quicker and to get softer. So I'm putting in one teaspoon of flour and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of mayo since it's conch and mix this all in. These three ingredients are gonna not only help my conch to cook down quicker, but it's also going to help it to be softer and nice and tender. You don't want chewy conch. It has to be nice and soft and just basically melts in your mouth. Now it's time to cook our conch. I'm putting in two tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna pour my conch right into this pot. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of black pepper, about three pinches of clove that I'm using the ground cloves. And I'm going to add in my garlic. This is about three crushed garlic. Garlic makes everything simply delicious. Now I'm adding in this beautiful platter of vegetables. We have here bell pepper, onion, celery, and red peppers. So we're just going to nicely spread that over the conch. And this is going to help add to the natural flavor of the conch. Because if you notice, we haven't added any season, okay? So these vegetables here that I'm adding in is going to help enhance the natural juice of the conch. After I add in my beautiful platter of vegetable. I'm adding in just one cup of water, nothing more. Now, if you're making less conch, then you put less water. If you're making more conch, then you put more water. But you don't want to put too much because the conch is going to run its own liquid. We're going to cook this for 40 minutes on a medium to high heat, not too high and not too low just in between. During the cooking process, if I lose too much water, I'm going to add in just a half cup of water at a time because you do want to have at least a cup of liquid from this step of the cooking process because that is what is going to help you to form your base for the stew. If you keep watching, you'll see exactly what I mean. After 40 minutes, this is what it looks like. 
this looks so good and it tastes even better and we haven't added anything yet so i'm gonna give it a good mix you can see the color change the texture change it just looks like some good conch so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna eliminate this liquid this is what i was telling you about you need this liquid right here and it should look like this okay so i'm going to remove the liquid and i'm of course i'm doing it the hard way here not sure why i was doing that because usually i just use the strainer but I'm going to take out all of the liquid or at least as much of the liquid as possible. And I'm going to set it aside until I need it. Do not throw it away. This is the key to making our base to our stew delicious. So now I'm adding in two tablespoons of oil so that I can fry my tomato paste. You guys know I always fry my tomato paste so that the tomato paste is not an overpowering taste to the food. So you want to add some olive oil and then I'm going to add in my tomato paste and let that fry. So as that fry up, I'm just using the little bit of liquid that's in the pan to loosen up my tomato paste. And when it's all loosened up, I'm just going to mix it all in. So I'm just mixing it in and making sure that all of my conch is covered in tomato paste. And guys, this is key. The tomato paste, you have to make it with it. I know some people don't like using tomato paste, but for this stew conch recipe, tomato paste is definitely key. Now I'm adding in a quarter teaspoon of browning. Browning is to help with the color added a few pinches of salt I would say about a half teaspoon of salt this portion here is called woosie okay so when you woosie your meat you're using high heat now I'm adding in two tablespoons of my Haitian Ippies and I'm mixing it all in so everything is nicely covered And now I'm going to add in some carrots. You see how I chop these carrots up? Very finely. When you're woosie in this stew conch, you want to add some carrots. Carrots just add a nice kick to this. It adds a little bit of sweetness. Not too sweet, just the right amount. You cannot make this stew conch without carrots. I mean, if you don't like carrots or you don't have it. You know, you just don't do it with it. But I'm telling you guys, carrots really add to the flavor. Now I'm going to add in some more uh, bell peppers and onions I had to the side. Okay, and I'm just going to mix it all in. All of this is during the wusi process. You don't add any liquid, just on a high heat. You're mixing everything in. And when it's all mixed in, now I'm going to add in my liquid, okay? This is the base liquid that is really going to set everything off for this stew and give this stew a nice authentic conch taste. I mean, guys, this is some good stew. This is really some good stew. I'm not just saying it because I make it, but give it a try. And guys, you know I love hearing from you guys. You got to always come back and let us know in the comment section how it worked out for you. If you did anything different, let us know. It really helps the viewers. And I also love, love hearing back from you guys. So after I add in all the liquid for the stew, 
I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of lemon juice fresh lemon guys I just squeeze fresh lemon and I'm putting in that lemon juice the lemon juice really 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 adds a kick to the stew so you have to do the lemon juice not lime but lemon juice I mean if you don't have lemon go ahead and substitute it for lime but lemon juice just really does something to the stew After everything is all added in and my woozy process is all done with, I'm going to add in one cup of water. Let that come to a boil. Then I'm adding in my butter. The game is not over until you add some butter as usual. All right, so I'll mix that in, let the butter melt in, and I'm going to let this cook for about 20 minutes, just so my stew broth can thicken up, and also the carrots, so the carrots can soften, because I don't wanna be eating into hard carrots. This is a time that you taste your stew, make sure that it tastes good, make sure that the broth is delicious, and if you follow this recipe step by step, I guarantee you, honey, it is good. It is bomb. So let's cover this up. Let it cook for about 20 minutes on a medium heat. We're going to lower that heat down. And after 20 minutes, guys, this is it. Call everybody to the table. Tell them get ready because Stu Conk is ready to serve nice and hot. Now, y'all know this is an expensive meat, so you can't be giving people too much. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for kicking in the kitchen with me today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed bringing it for you guys. Leave a comment for me in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about this recipe. Definitely, if you try it, come back and let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed it enough to stick around by subscribing to our channel because here we have lots of more great, delicious, mouth-watering, and easy-to-follow recipes to share with you guys. And these recipes will have you impressing whoever that you are cooking it for. Enjoy this con, guys, and come back and learn how to make something else that's just as great and amazing as this. Bon appétit! Bye, guys!